The Dothan Diamond Classic officially wrapped up today, and these ladies certainly put on a show for fans. After a week of filled with nonstop action, the Houston Academy Raiders walk away as the champions of this annual softball tournament. But the path to this victory was not an easy road traveled for the Raiders. They first had to make it through their semifinal game. The Houston Academy Raiders took on the Wicksburg Panthers for a spot in the finals. And for the Raiders, they were able to tame these cats with almost little effort. Alabama commit Brea Hodges was making it look easy on the mound, putting away just about every batter she faced. She was also able to get some help from her teammates securing routine pop flies. But the Panthers were also giving the Raiders a little bit of trouble in the batter's box. Natalie Cole was able to put away a few, collecting a couple of strikeouts. In the end, Houston Academy was able to come out on top and would face the the winner of Rehoboth and Enterprise. And this game had one of the most thrilling endings that I have ever seen. After being down eight to three in the fourth inning, something woke up the Rehoboth Rebels. They were able to use their speed to their advantage, getting on base on some close calls. But the sun was obviously a huge factor for Enterprise. What should have been routine pop flies turned into costly errors that resulted in easy runs. What seemed like a runaway game for the Wildcats quickly turned into a nightmare as the Rebels would shut them out for three straight innings and win nine to eight. And it all led to this, the Rebels taking on the Houston Academy Raiders for the Dothan Diamond Classic title. In the first inning, the Rebels used their momentum from their comeback victory to jump out of the gates on fire with a quick 2-0 lead thanks to a home run to left field. But Houston Academy did not flinch, responding with a four-run inning to take a 4-2 lead. And after getting on the board early on, the Raiders showed that they can also take control of the game defensively, striking out multiple batters. And even though she was not on the mound in this matchup, Brea Hodges still made her presence felt. In this game, she had a huge three-run homer to go along with the single. The Rehoboth Rebels came into this game on fire, but the Houston Academy Raiders quickly cooled them off, winning this one 7-2 and walking away with the first-place victory. After the game, head coach Sharon Cherry spoke more on the Rebels quick start. You don't want to be playing a good team and start letting them build a lead on you. Um, but, you know, we don't get real rattled or frazzled by team scoring runs because we know that we can produce runs. And our one through nine is capable of putting the bat on the ball and um, executing plays and that we will score some.